So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again with yet more random transfer news. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. This time, Evan and Dika is linked to Arsenal. So straight away, within seconds of the story breaking, instantly, there is now compilations all over the internet gassing up the six foot four French international to be the second coming of Sol Campbell. <laughs> You have to laugh at the internet. It is hilarious. But listen, uh, this will be the first of four videos I'll do today. I'll be doing them back to back to back. Uh, this one's coming out as soon as I finish recording it. Uh, the next one that will be out at about nine. No, it won't. It'll be out about 11 p.m. Then I'll be dropping another one at half four in the morning. Sp these are Spanish times, by the way. Um, and then the next one will be out at midday tomorrow, Spanish time. So, yes, UK times are slightly different. Take an hour off. Uh, but but make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the second channel. Stick your donations down below. And, uh, yeah, man, we're all good. And uh, make sure you share the content around as well. Thumbs up always. Uh, but Evan and Dika has been the latest player linked to the Arsenal. <laughs> You just have to laugh. This story broke about four hours ago from what I've seen. And literally, if you go on social media and just type in this guy's name in a search bar, it now comes up with loads and loads of Arsenal fans going on like they've always tracked this player, like they watched the Bundesliga week in, week out. Like he is the, the second greatest defender behind Sol Campbell that they've ever seen in their lifetimes. Obviously, I've seen Tony Adams. Uh, but... Arsenal and Chelsea, of course, Chelsea have to be linked, don't they? Uh, uh, amongst the host of top clubs, offered an intriguing free transfer opportunity. Intriguing makes it sound even better, doesn't it? Oh my God, why is it intriguing me? A range of top clubs around Europe have reportedly been offered the chance to sign Eintracht Frankfurt defender Ivan Andika, 23-year-old who is hailed as one of the best defensive talents in Germany. By who? Who's hailed him that? Does anyone know? Uh, no, they don't, do they? Uh, he will be out of contract in six months, so he can now negotiate with teams overseas. But interested parties will have to put up with extortionate demands. What are the demands? And Dika has played a remarkable amount of senior football for his age, particularly as a centre-back. The towering six-foot-four youngster came through the ranks at Hawks Air before heading across the border to sign for Frankfurt in 2018. 150 Bundesliga games for Frankfurt, uh, despite making an eye-catching progress with Frankfurt, which has prompted trusted observers label him an enormous talent. He's enormous. Uh, his contract is due to expire at the end of the season. Uh, with a free uh, transfer opportunity in the works, and Indica's camp able to negotiate pre-contract with overseas clubs. Now, this is where they try to make out that this is an absolute rip-off. Uh, I can't even pronounce the media outlet in Germany, but it's Frankfurter something something. I have no idea what that says. Um, but PSG, Tottenham, Chelsea. Notice they didn't put Tottenham in the uh, in the headline. It was just Arsenal and Chelsea amongst the clubs. Never said Tottenham, did they? Because it's not so attractive if they say Tottenham. Uh, PSG, Barcelona. However, the agent is apparently being categorically rejected by some clubs due to hefty demands. Can you tell us what these demands are, please? So basically, you can go through as a free transfer in the summer. The true cost of the move is free, starting with an immediate 13 million signing on fee to the player and a subsequent five-year deal worth 30 million a season, which makes that 43 million pounds. So... Where's the extortionate price then? Apparently, he's an enormous talent. He's scouted as one of the best in Germany. One of the towering six foot four dominant centre back. Scores goals as well. He's chipped in with three, four goals every season since he's been in the team. And I don't really understand why they're trying to make this a big thing. If he's as good as people say he is. And again, I'm not getting duped by any compilations ever again. Uh, been there, done that. Won the t-shirt. And um, if he's as good as people are saying he is, then I don't see why 40-odd million, which includes wages, by the way, is um, is such a big problem. I really don't get it. They're trying to make out that this is extortionate. It's such a rip-off. He's free. Okay, well, if he's free, number one, we know that he's going to claim a signing-on fee. Is 13 million a lot of money? Of course it is. 
But now what you do is you split the 13 million over the five years. Now it's not a lot of money, is it? So now he would be on the 100 grand a week, which is ever thereabouts what 6 million a year is, just over 100 grand a week. 100 grand a week. Now add in the fee, the, the signing on fee. It's not really a great deal of money if we're going to sign one of the best young talents at centre back, is it? And this is why I find it funny when I read these transfer stories because they they hype stuff up, then and it's it's almost like they've got certain players that they get briefed on by the clubs or by the agents or certain favourite players. Because if everyone's making out that this guy's such a good player, then what is forty three million over five years? Like, come on, it's not a lot of money, really, is it? Let's be real. 43 mil, including wages over the next five years, is not a great deal of money. If you're going to sign a top, top centre back, where was this with Ben White? Yes, slightly different. Ben White was under contract, but 50 million plus wages. Well, this guy is apparently one of the best young talents at centre back. So it's going to cost maybe 30 million quid less than we paid for Ben White. All in all. So I don't really get it. Listen, the guy the guy is not a bad player from what I've seen. I don't profess that I sit there and watch German league football. I don't. The league's dead. Uh, but if you want to go from his stats um, for Frankfurt, 162 games, he's chipped in with 10 goals, 10 assists as well, by the way, uh, which is not bad. But again, that league is trash. That ain't even in the top five leagues in Europe, in my opinion. Leave your thoughts on it. Leave it down below. Um, anyone who does watch Bundesliga, and I know a lot of you in my chat do, uh, leave it down below. But from what I have seen of him in the Europa League and stuff like that, even even back in Champions League, I think he played as well. I remember watching Champions League. I'm sure he played Champions League a few years back. Um, he does look half tidy. Yeah, he can win aerial duels. Obviously, I expect him to do that. He's six foot four. Yeah, his reading of the game is not bad. He's almost like a more aggressive Saliba. Maybe, maybe the best way, because he is very good on the ball, but... <laughs> Is he getting in the team over Gabriel Magalhaes? Right now, probably not. But he will get in the team over Rob Holding. And I do feel we need a centre-back. Our other options at centre-back are Rob Holding and Takiro Tomiyasu. And we could possibly play Ben White there as well if we want to put Tomiyasu at right-back. Not being funny. Rob Holding's the odd one out here. Tomiyasu ain't that great. Ben White, I don't ever want to see at centre-back again. He's better at right-back. So I do feel we need a centre-back. This is obviously going to be a summer signing, not a not a January signing, but 40 odd million quid. I mean, let's be real. In today's market, you've got kids out there being duped the next Neymar, <coughs> Mudrick, <coughs> uh, being tipped for 100 million. So what's 43 million quid? I don't see why they're trying to make it such a, oh my God, it's extortionate prices. And they've, they've been categorically rejected by other clubs around Europe. I mean, if he's that good, sign him. All right, let's stop mucking about it. It's either black or white. You either want the player and sign him, or you don't, and you don't. Like, how difficult is it? Oh, yeah, but Lee, you don't understand how it works. Well, I do. Pay the money, get the player. That's how it works. Yeah, and if you don't want to pay it, somebody else will, and then they get the player. And then you go, oh, we dodged a bullet with that one. Yeah, and then a couple of years later, oh, my God, he looks a player. Well, make your minds up, mate. Like, is this these transfer stories, all these journalists that write them, yeah, they're absolute plebs, honestly. I say this every day. And I'm sitting there exposing their BS every day. How is it that this guy is now, oh my God, is extortionate when you've said in the same story, the same article, that he's tipped and dubbed as one of the best in Germany? Well, if he's one of the best in Germany, why ain't Bayern Munich guy and buying them? Why aren't they buying him? Because Bayern Munich buy the best in Germany. They're almost like Man United under Fergie. They will normally go out and buy the best player in Germany that don't play for them. So... I expect him to end up at Bayern Munich, if, if that's the case. If he's that great, then I fully expect him to end up at Bayern Munich. I do feel we need a centre-back. I'd love to know what you guys think. I don't feel we'll get one in January. I think it will be a summer signing if we do get a centre-back. Uh, but I do think we need one. Rob Holding ain't the guy. He's just a cheerleader. He's just happy to be at the club. And that ain't good enough for Arsenal. We need players that are next level. Rob Holding is what he is, an average centre-back that shouldn't even be at the club, let's be real. Uh, but it is what it is. Listen, I'll be back again later on this evening um, about 11 p.m. UK time. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And uh, yeah, man, um, have a wonderful Saturday. FA Cup day, of course. Arsenal play Monday, full match day schedule on Monday. 
and um, make sure you subscribe to the second channel smash a like on this video share the content around and drop your donations via the thanks option down below uh, but yeah let me know your thoughts on Evan and Dika is he any good do you watch Bundesliga um, is he worth the money uh, if not let me know how much you think he's worth uh, we're out of here adios amigos